Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Black Sight. And this is a new thriller uh, from director Sophia Banks, starring Michelle Moynihan, focusing on a group of people inside this labyrinthian top secret base who are pr trying to protect some detainees from one particular one named Hatchet who's extremely dangerous and is going to stop at nothing to uncover what his agenda is. And as we realize that things might be a lot darker than what's being led on to believe. And Banks does, you know, a solid job with this thriller. Um, you're looking at a very con a, like claustrophobic kind of thriller. You're stuck in this one set piece for the whole entire film for the most part. There's not a whole lot of variety in terms of like how it looks and stuff like that so you have to find other ways to make it fresh and interesting in that way but the plot feels a little too overly convoluted there's just a lot of moving pieces a lot of the like guards and soldiers and the prisoners and everybody has an agenda what they're trying to do having different motivations having different perspectives and trying to balance all those things doesn't really feel like it's really fleshed out in a meaningful way over the course of this 90 minutes. You have Michelle Moynihan, who I really enjoy. She's a, I enjoy her in Source Code and Gone Baby Gone, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. She's very charismatic, and she does her best to be like this leading woman in this film. There's, they don't give her or anybody for that matter very good dialogue to work with like they could def they definitely try to give her a bunch of one-liners that fall kind of flat um they're not the best one-liners these aren't like Arnold Schwarzenegger one-liners um but like he also had the ability to just make anything sound just hilarious or intense because it's Arnold Schwarzenegger but here Michelle Moynihan I think does a really fine job Jason Clark who's Hatchet is intense, he's intimidating, he doesn't say much, so, like, Clark both, mostly does his performance very physically, and, like, you have a lot of other people here, including Jai Courtney, who's just an asshole torturer in this place, and, like, he has his motivations, and, like, that's basically it, he's, like, and he's an asshole, he's, you don't want to trust him, like I said, there's poor dialogue throughout the film, it's either exposition heavy or very stiff or awkward dialogue that's hard to believe coming out of the actor's mouths. And then you have the action, which there's a decent amount of action, but it's so overly edited and cut to shreds that it's hard to appreciate the actual action going on on screen because you could barely see it. And I don't know what that reason might be, and especially as the film goes on towards the end, there's some horrible special effects, like horrible green screens that just completely take you out of the movie. And in general, this film is trying to be like, oh, the con government conspiracies, and like none of it's very uh, interesting, it's not presented in an interesting way or a unique or fresh way for us to really gain our attentions. It's just kind of like, there you go, government bad, and kind of move on from there. And in the end, this is a below average, forgettable kind of action film that doesn't really do it for me. But those are my thoughts on Black Sight. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.